Hey guys, we're back here uh, with Michelle. Uh, we're gonna be doing a Coinbase Pro tutorial, but we first wanna get more background on her. What is really intriguing, if you didn't watch the last video, she is investing $1,000, or started investing $1,000 into Coinbase, which is really impressive mm -hmm. because most girls, we were joking about it, would be buying Louis Vuitton or designer stuff. But let's first talk about college. Where did you go to college? Where, like talk about your career kind of. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I actually, um, I went to college at the University of Laverne. Um, I was there for four years and I got, um, I earned a bachelor's of science in sociology. So um, from there, I wasn't too sure what to do with my, uh, as far as like where I wanted to go. I, di I didn't want to be a social worker, um, but I like the idea of human resources because uh, it's really universal. And I knew there was a lot of income potential um, in that industry. And you can work in any, like, across industries. So it doesn't have to be, like, strictly finance or strictly, um, you know, like, uh, aerospace or something. It could be really any um, any industry. So I like that aspect about it. Okay. And um, how old were you and when you graduated? I think I was, like, 22, 21. 22. Okay. And so now you've been working for yeah. how long? How many years are you been working? So um, a little over three years. Okay. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so your brother's 24, yeah. you're 25, and your younger brother's the one yeah. who got you into crypto investing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you missed out so on the old video. So he got me into it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> like I said, $1,000 is a good amount, a chunk of change. Mm -hmm. What what got you so comfortable? What what, what made you think, okay, it's okay, I'm going to... And you did it at the high part of the market, right? $1,000. I know, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> What's bad yeah, is so um... I have a crypto video <laughs> where I convinced one of my classmates to buy Bitcoin at like 15 no. or 14, but he only bought like $200 worth. So hopefully he's buying yeah. a dip right now, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Um. So I actually, uh, he got me just really excited and I'm like, oh, and I like one of my long-term goals was to own a lot of uh, rental properties. Like I wanted to um, have my own, I kind of jokingly would say it's like my own, uh, my own empire. I'm like, I wanted to have my own empire. I wanted to be really self-sufficient, like financially. Um, and I just wanted to be happy. And like when you, when you double your money, like when I, at least how I felt, like I just get so excited. Like this is so fun when you're actually making money work for you and that was kind of how um my whole mindset was going into it um and uh, i think i met like one of my other friends um he was also into it um into like investing but i think um he did more small scale coins um i was more at like okay i'll stick to bitcoin i'm still new at this like i'll just i'll stick to bitcoin so um you, you and bought a thousand kind of, dollars worth of bitcoin correct yeah, yeah, thousand okay, so dollars worth so of So yeah, if you've been watching my channel, I actually preach diversification. So let's just go over this mm -hmm. one key advice: is you never want to have all your yeah. eggs in one basket. So to be honest, right now though, your thousand dollars in Bitcoin has been the best bet because Bitcoin right now is doing the best. But I always yeah. recommend that you should maybe like. For me, about 50, 60% of my portfolio is Bitcoin and Ethereum, mm -hmm. and I have more Bitcoin than Ethereum. But yeah, I, I, mm -hmm. I really do believe in diversification. So um, yeah, like I said, right now um, it worked out for you. Mm -hmm. uh, Bitcoin was losing a lot of dominance. I don't know if you've followed the market, but it was like 30% of the crypto market at one point. Now it's up to 60. So your Bitcoin bet right now oh. is okay. And when prices, good, right? <laughs> yeah, when prices go down, Bitcoin tends to go up and it becomes a larger part. So altcoins usually mm -hmm. lose market share when the market is going down and Altcoins oh. then take over market share when the market is going up. So that's a very mm -hmm. important trend to follow. I pointed this out in my other videos too. So just wanted to bring that up. And okay. we just ran out of time for this video too. So we're going to go to the next video where uh, <laughs> we're going to go into more detail about your Bitcoin purchase. So uh, let me go ahead and okay. take this off and we'll talk again.